Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Brother Keon here, and um, it's been a while since I made a video, and I apologize for that because I've been really busy with work and everything else. So I know there's been a lot going on lately since I ain't made a video in a while, and they came across Aaron Benton that you don't even believe. Who Jesus Christ really is and at first you had the truth right you had it right the whole time you know you knew Jesus Christ was God you knew he was the eternal the eternal God that eternal Lord or Savior Jesus Christ you had it right you had the gospel right you know then all of a sudden you did a 180 on everybody including me Excuse me. And thinking that you had it wrong, and you're thinking that Jesus Christ is not God. He just just the Son of God. Well, if Jesus Christ is not God, then who is he? Ask me this: Who is he? Who is he to you? Who do you serve, God or Jesus Christ? This is this is a trick question, really, because. They won the same. There, there is no difference between both of them whatsoever. And you deny the Trinity as well. You deny, deny that the Father is God. You deny that Jesus Christ is God. And you deny that the Holy Spirit is God. So you deny the Trinity and the deity of Christ. And one day, one day, we all go in, into the, uh, <clears throat> the judgment one day. You're going to have to answer for these things, Aaron. You're going to have to. Because you want to explain to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, on that day of judgment, that why did you deny who I am? And this is what this video is going to be about. I'm not going to make this very long. But I have to say something about this because it's, go it's going too far. It's going way too far, and it's making me sick my stomach and I don't like it because you can't just make a YouTube video and thinking you know you're right about what you're saying instead of you know going by what the word of God says you're not the author of the, you're not the author of the, of the Bible the Bible is the author of us you know what I mean by that is the Bible is the final authority put it that way Let's go through some scriptures real fast so I can actually prove to you, Aaron, that you're wrong about what you say. Because if you actually believe your lies and say Jesus Christ is not God, then why does the scripture say this? Because you had it right in May. You had it right. I saw a video of your older videos before you deleted them you had the truth right you had it right what happened to you because I'm confused about it and I don't understand why in the heck you can go from the truth from God's Word into your own understanding of everything that fast like some somebody must have tickled your ear or whispered in your ear or something because you know they bamboozled you I can tell you that much. Whatever they said to you to make you think that Jesus Christ is not God, well, they straight did a number on you, my brother. I can tell you that much. <laughs> Excuse me. So, Aaron, if you're watching this video, if you're watching this video, I want you to turn to your King James Bible. Your King James Bible. Not no dumbed down version. Your King James Bible. Go with me to eight to, to John eight fifty four. Now we're gonna read all the way to fifty six. Jesus answered, "If I honor myself, my honor is nothing. It is my Father that I that honors me. Of who ye say that he is your God? Yet ye have not known him." 
but I know him, but I know him. If I should say I know him not, I should be a liar like unto you, but I know him and keep his sayings. Your father rejoiced to see me, to see my day, and he, and he saw it and he was glad. Then said the Jews unto him, Thou art not yet fifty years old, and hast thou seen Abraham? Jesus said unto them, Very, very, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. You see that, Aaron? Before Abraham was, I am. Who was I am? That's the Lord Jesus Christ. He is I am. He always been I am. And you try to say that Jesus Christ is not God. Then who and who was that talking in the Old Testament the whole time to Abraham? I already know you're going to say, well, that was God. That wasn't the Lord Jesus Christ. He wasn't around yet. No, he was around from the beginning. Way before we were even created. Way before the world was created. Way before the angels were created. He was there. He was there with the Father and the Holy Spirit. He was there. So, you can say what you want to say about the Lord Jesus Christ, though. You're going to answer for that. But the scriptures is right. You can say what you want to say, Aaron, but the scripture is right. We're going to go to another verse. All right, we're going to go up. For a minute, we're going to go to 18 to 24. Well, actually, I don't need it. Part of it. Yeah, I'm going to need to just read 24. But I'm just going to read 18 to 24. That's what I'm going to do. All right, follow with me, Aaron. Listen up, man. This is important. I am... We got 18, 18 in John. I am one that bear witness of myself, and the Father that sent me bears witness of me. Then said they unto him, Where is the Father? Jesus, Jesus answered, Ye neither know me nor my Father. If ye had known me, you should know my Father also. These words spake Jesus in the treasury as he taught in the temple, and no man laid hands on him, for his hour was not yet come. Then Jesus said again to them, I go my way, you shall seek me, and you shall die in your sins. Whether I go, you cannot come. Then said the Jews, we hit, Will he kill himself? Because he said, Whether I go, you cannot come. And he said unto them, now listen to this, Aaron. This is very important. Ye are from beneath, and I am from above. Ye are of this world, I am not of this world. And I said therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins, for if ye believe not that I am he, you shall die in your sins. There's that I am again. Now, Aaron, think about who I am is. Really think about this for a minute. Who is I am? He was in the Old Testament. He was the same I am that was talking to Moses at the time. He was the same I am talking to Moses. Hold on, I'm going to go to the scripture. I'm going to pause this for a minute. All right. All right, Aaron, turn to Exodus 3.13 for a minute. I hope you're listening to this video. I hope you are because this is very important. I'm trying to, I'm trying to give you the truth, brother, because like we care about you. We ain't trying to bash you or anything like that, double. This is called a love rebuke right here. We love you enough, man, to rebuke you, man. Because we didn't love you, we wouldn't be doing this. We just let you be lost in, in straight darkness. We want you to come back to the light, my brother. I'm telling you. I'm telling you the truth. And this is what we're doing. All right, we're going to Exodus three thirteen. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come into the children of Israel, 
and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers has sent me unto you. And they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. You see that, Aaron? Who is I am? Well, you see what it says? And God says unto Moses, I am that I am. That's the same I am that was talking to Abraham and Moses and David and all the rest of the Old Testament saints. Ooh, excuse me. And he said, Thou shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am has sent me unto you. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and go further than that to 15 so you can actually see what this is saying. And God said, Moreover to Moses, Thou shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, has sent me unto you. This is my name forever. And you see that? Forever. Okay, I'm going to highlight that. For a minute, I don't mean. Sorry. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. All right. Name forever. My name forever. And this is my memorial unto all generations. Why would he, why would he say that? So you can know who the Lord Jesus Christ is. He is God. He always has been God. That never changed. Abraham saw him. Isaac saw him. God is something. God, come on now. Like everybody said, like they haven't seen the glory of, of the Lord. Don't get me wrong, but they saw him. Oh my goodness. Aaron. How can you be so blind about this? You can be so blind. I don't understand this. Okay, we're going to go to a couple more verses. They're short, but we're going to come to a couple more verses. All right, let's go to Deuteronomy 4. I mean, 6 4. Real quick. Now, listen up, Aaron. This is very important. Here on Israel. The Lord our God is one Lord. I'm going to read that again so you can understand it. The Lord our God is one Lord. So if the Lord Jesus Christ is God, then who was that speaking in the Old Testament? Who was the Lord our God is one Lord? Is that Jesus Christ? Oh, yes, it is. It wasn't nobody else that was speaking back then. Okay, let's go to Deuteronomy 4, 35. I'm trying to help you out, Aaron. Seriously, man, I love you, brother, but I just don't want you to be lost, man. This is, you know, this is damaging to you right now. This is really damaging to you. You need to repent of this mindset you're in, this carnal mindset you're in right now, this heresy you're speaking about, the Lord Jesus Christ saying he's not God. You deny the Trinity, you deny the deity, man. That's damaging, brother. That's really damaging because you just really don't even believe in him if you're going to just say he's not God. Then you might as well not even believe him at all whatsoever. All right, let's um, go to uh, 435. Okay. Unto thee it was shoot, it was shoot <clears throat> that thou mightest know that the Lord, he is God. There is None beside thee in besides him. Let's read it again. Unto thee it was shewed, showed that minus know that the Lord he is God, there is none else besides him. The Lord he is God. Aaron you could, I hope you're not this blind not to see not to see this seriously. 
It says it right here, plain as day. The Lord, He is God. So, the Lord Jesus Christ is God. He's always been around. You had it right the whole time back then. What happened to you? You should never let people steer, steer you away from the truth. It happens. It does. It happens. It happened to me before. But don't let nobody steer you away from the truth whatsoever. It doesn't matter who it is. Stick to, stick to the Word of God. Stick to it. Don't go outside the Word of God. Don't let people come in your ear and tell you differently. Never do that. But you need to repent of this. You do. You need to repent of this. I hope you do. Because, man, how you can be in the light and be in the dark so fast is obvious, beyond me, brother. All right, brothers and sisters, I hope you have a blessed day. And hope y'all enjoy. Hope y'all enjoy your weekend. Thank you.